Welcome to Martin James Designs. This is an episode where we're going to get creative. I got one of my best buddies, Cups. He's here. He's going to be doing some painting on the sea can. We're going to do a mural. There's the man himself. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sit. <laughs> Sit. I'm getting ready to set up. Beautiful day. Beautiful day for painting. Every day is a beautiful day for painting, though. Oh, it's dry? Oh, yeah. It's dry. It's go time. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the piece. It's an 8 by 20 C can. We are, what's the plan? What do we got going on? Uh, so we're gonna hook up the sprayer and we're gonna whack this whole thing black. And then once it's black, that's our base coat. So that's painter primer. It's gonna sit nice. And then from there, we'll put the outline up tonight. And then after the outline's up, um, kind of follow the process. So mid-tones, solid fills, and then highlights, outlines. So we're outdoors, we have a spirit animal. Uh, Cody spirit animal, the owl. Uh, so that'll be framing the left side and right side. I will have two, um, kind of like a surreal move into a bit of a contemporary. Um, we'll have some outlines, some roses, and then butterflies that we had a we had um, the hourglass. A, we had a little bit of a vibe. Yeah. So this was the challenge. We wanted to get butterflies in there, and we wanted a timepiece because there's all these metaphors and symbolism of time and time spent and stuff like that with his lady. So we have uh, her spirit animal, the butterfly, um, which we've turned into these floating butterfly clocks. So there's kind of like this surreal Alice in Wonderland kind of vibe going on too. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, all in all. And then color palette wise, we went with uh, blacks, whites, a bit of grays to match the rest of the house and the, the zone eventually. <laughs> He sprayed the can for the first time. It just started. Look at it. It's like hailing out. Um, so, this, apparently, is what we get when we want to do something outside in the spring in Squamish. Look at this, dude. <laughs> Blue sky. Yeah. Yeah. That Blue's means it's going to be like sunny and warm, 14 in like an hour. I'm not worried. Not stressed. No stress. The the chill vibe. It's blocked out. Yeah. Dark black. Bare canvas. How's she looking? Oh, this is this is what we want. 85% dry. We get to use the paint then when we project her on tonight. Nice. I was a little scared at first. Uh, with hail storms, <laughs> cold, rainy temperatures, and then the sun pops out and just zaps this thing dry for us. Mother Nature. Thank you, Mother Nature. Look what I got. Christmas? It's your Christmas. This is what dreams are made of right here. Soft caps. Pink circle back caps, that gets the job done. Outlines, skinnies. This is this, oh. The added, the added details. On the, and this, you have everything in stock? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll get, um, a vanilla with a uh, chocolate cookie, please. Okay. And um, one ice pop. Uh, blueberry, raspberry, lime. All right. Yeah, thank you. Look at the twist. What was that? 
Did you just fart on camera? It's well so done. Freedom. You feeling pretty free over there? <laughs> well done, Jar. That, that's the sound of comfort. She's comfy for sure. Just, you're just getting comfortable, are you? <laughs> Waiting for the sun to go down to get projection on the sea can. It's a little s'more session. Oh, look at Chris's. You got any s'more jokes? Okay, so what are you doing then? Oh, I see, okay. So this is all information for tomorrow. Oh, so you're just doing a rough blog. Yeah. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. We've, uh, we've created a Next day, ready to go. We can't, there we are. Oh, hey, I'm in the sunlight. You're in the sun, there you are. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go for a little hike before we get the paint day going. Done. It's so peaceful out here. Yeah. So fortunate to live in such a beautiful area. We're between Whistler and Squamish right now. This early morning Sunday. Just went on a little hike before Chris starts painting the mural on the sea can. You got any inspirational quotes for this morning? Ooh, inspirational quotes. I don't know. Maybe something about making the ordinary the ordinary extraordinary. How about that? Yeah. That's what we're about to do today. Dude, let's do that little morning meditation hike and then some painting. Yep. I'm down with it. Would you just look at her? Dude. I'm pretty sure. Well that's nice. That's far down there. Look at that view. That was enjoyable. Yeah. Fresh air starting the Sunday. Yeah. Let's get back to painting. Two hours. Paint day. Last night, Chris got the owls projected on the sea can for guidelines. Couple outlines. Oh, I have a pocket. Right there, other side. Uh -huh, check this little sneaky. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. You're teaching me how to use my pockets. Yeah. That's pretty nice of you. Dude, that's why I'm here. Escalator. What kind of tips are you using there? Uh, just loading my pockets with everything. So that's a uh, pink dot which is our fat cap, opens the valve up and pretty much gets it done. Maximum coverage, I would say. Well, there's a couple other ones, but they get kind of like fanny and whatever. This is called like a soft, uh, soft cap. So it's gray with blue. So it's a, it's also a fat cap, but there's no hard line in it. It's just like really soft and like hairspray, good for fades. Oh. It's my fading tool. Also goes in the pocket.
Like 21 too? Yep. Mm. Bam. That's all she wrote. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Uh, it was really fun. I had a lot of fun. I think it's good. I think we did great. I think it uh, you know, served, the, served the purpose really well. And, uh, Dude, I couldn't be happier, man. Thank you so much. I think once everything, like, it's going to look really cool when the rest of the yard is together, the house is finished, everything is black, white, black, white, and then you get to see, like, how we thought that this would tie in. So yeah. I think it's just, like, it's part of, it's like another part of the, um, the yard, the environment. What do you call, what do you call these things? Off builds? Off, no. Outbuildings? Outbuilding. It almost looks like another outbuilding. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. I think, yeah, to have art in, the, in a place and to have like a certain style um, in like a semi-urban suburb, you don't want it to look like you're in a ghetto or a train wreck. So you have to kind of take your time and place things accordingly. So we have outdoor nature content. We have proper color palette and we have the right setting, so. I'm going to call that a win. It's a win. It's a win. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thank you. That was really fun.